All right, we got the 6-2. We get to play for seven wins. That's always fun. Close out the day with the playing for max win. On the wrong account, but that's all right. We like max win anywhere we can get it. That seemed a little premature, but also I felt like we had it well in hand and they needed like bomb type outs. But if they had bomb type outs, they should have kept going, I think. This is keepable, if not amazing yet. Incoming forest. Well, that has nice steady attacks for a little bit here, but I'm not going to worry about it yet. This becomes a concern when we have uh, planeswalkers to protect or a much lower life total. I'm going to go with uh, Flux Channeler. It's likely to die, but if it doesn't, we have a nice Sahili Time Twist turn to follow, or perhaps, perhaps Sahili Transmutation, if we just want to take the Stinger out of commission. See what they play here, that's the main thing. My favorite Planeswalker from War of the Spark. Good question. What have I enjoyed? Probably, uh... Kazmina has been my favorite, just because we see her a lot, and she's really powerful and does cool stuff. All that. I'm gonna go no blocks. What we're probably gonna do is actually still do Sahili. Ooh. Here I am presuming we're gonna find land, of course, and we didn't. So instead, maybe... Rager plus transmutation on the Ceratok. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. And I'm not blocking with the weird, so I'm gonna attack. Sarkin's pretty fun, too. I was going, I was thinking in terms of the uncommons, since I'm in a limited mindset here and thinking about that, that side of things. If they attack with a Stinger, we'll happily trade for the Rager. Favorite game gameplay or lore? Are you asking uh, to clarify my <clears throat> Planeswalker favorite? I don't know enough of the lore to answer that. Well, we could quasi protect one of these planeswalkers narset would maybe find us some action and then if they invest a lot to take her out we can live with the one for one and force them into a questionable attack I think i'm gonna do that oh you're asking nugget gotcha Okay. Army could be fun. Don't have much to sack here. 
we hope to have something... Well, we could sack Tybalt Rager in one instance. I think we'll take the Heartfire. Heartfire has been an MVP here, especially since we don't have the Jaya's Welcome and that kind of stuff going on. They get it much easier than I was hoping. But they still have some choices to make. Let's see what they do here. Dread Malkin attacks. We did get to put Rager and Weird on it. Just wait a moment. Alright, so they don't know about the time twist. It may be worth it to just time twist in response. Um, really wish you'd found a land. Land would have really helped here. We could have even Sahilied if we'd found a land. As it is, we can heart fire the Shriek Diver. <clears throat> heart fire, uh, sorry, heart fire sack Rager, kill Dread Malkin and Shriek Diver. And then she's pretty protected. Yeah, and let's do that while they are uh, out of stuff, right? All right. Well, hold on. We can at least uh, send in the Rager. Now they know we got the heart fire, they probably see what's coming, but you never know. They might just take this and we can get an extra point. Now we have Stinger as a uh, possible annoyance, but we will time twist Narset away if they send the Stinger at her. Or we could even, yeah. We could trade with the Flux Channeler, but Flux Channeler is too good. Yeah, block and twist is kind of my plan here. Yeah, I like that. Uh, well, now I'm going to use it now and maybe we give up the weird. We'll, we'll, we're going to save the Flux Channeler and see and decide what to do here is the bottom line. And this is fine if they don't do anything. Now the stinger, now Narset can actually take a hit from the stinger. And we can just uh, save the weird. Oh, it can't take a hit from both, though. They've had to dump their hand to do this, though. So now if we can uh, draw some land, set up a board presence. Ugh, come on. Um... Yeah, I was, uh, wasn't going to give up the weird, but looks like uh, Oppo had other ideas.
Profit sit back. Heck, profit attack. Haven't really seen this yet. This is, I think this is the first game I've had Samut on either side. Hasty creatures and make some stuff big. Okay. I get it. Samut cast Sprint. Uh, now we just gotta take this. Just gonna attack. Let's attack Samut and set him back. Now attack Samut, just play weird. That's what I'm gonna do. Hazard, forgive me. Hey Harold, what up? Just some land would make this hand amazing. Um, we could dismiss, get an army going. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna do that. Hey, 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 look at that, it's beautiful. So beautiful. And if you want to trade your stinger for the profit, I offer that trade because I got planeswalkers coming. Now we get to probably row and make our zombie army and our flux channeler big enough to protect Prowl, unless they come up with something real nice. Do we want to go get any spells? That's totally reasonable too. Although we're not going to be able to cast them anytime soon, so let's hold off on the weird. And hope this is... Hmm. That's not awful, but I'd rather just find the straight up land. I'm going to keep that because we can go Sahili into Contentious Plan, which is big, big stuff. And we're going to stay back and really try and hold this fort for one turn. I think if we can get Sahili and Contentious Plan off. Bell Gorger and or maybe Prophet and Token. Definitely Prophet. But we're gonna make more. Like with this they can't re yeah. Keep the token to block death touch. Fair enough. Okay. Yeah. 
We're gonna beat Lily. You ready? We're gonna beat Lily for seven wins. That's what's gonna happen here, everybody. That's what's gonna happen here. Maybe. Is it not? Oh, instant sorcery. Okay. Yeah, it was always minus two contentious. I was just putting it together that we can get real Lily right here. You're definitely not going to like this one, Oppo. Guess there's no way to change what just happened. Death won't conquer me so easily. I'm just clicking stuff. Could have killed the death touch and attack it, how? Uh, RTFC. Uh, so... Giving up the army. Because this can chump here. This is going to make more armies. Is this right? Yeah, I'm going to start attacking. Not only that, even if they were to, like, remove our blockers and attack our planeswalkers, they're at eight loyalty each. They need to use a finisher if they're going to get rid of either of these this turn, or some other combination of spells that we're not seeing. All right, we're going to beat Nyssa and Liliana to get our seventh win. Jeez. Not making it easy, Oppo. Not making it easy. What do we even care most about here? Probably just the Epiphany and draw a bunch. Like, I like those sixes, but let's just get a, let's refill. So we're going to copy this and this. Some lessons for you all, for you all indeed. Your way. We'll go like this because we have Narset that we could find. Uh, yeah, let's... Oh, I guess we could go opponent. Maybe I should be going face here. Think it through, Ryan. Think it through. Yeah, I should just be... I mean, maybe Narset's dead. I don't have time to look, though. That's the thing. We played a land this turn, right? Then do it like this. Sure, we'll play this dude. And now they've got... Uh, they have to block... everything. Let's just do this. Chandler, you've done great work. Thank you for your service. We're going to see if we can get there without you now. We can't totally lost lands, but if they play any other creatures, like 
I guess they could take the totally lost. I guess they have to. Make another creature. The land fights for us. Well, nothing that gets this uh, Spellgorger weird going, unfortunately. And nothing uh, that Ral can minus. So let's go ahead and plus him. Take a look at what's coming before we decide everything. Guild Mage, Planeswalker, Genius Inventor, I got it all. Uh, yeah, Ogre Copy Ogre seems very good. We'll do that. Just thinking it all. This goes to their face two for some damage. I like to think fast. we do that, they go block, uh, block, block, eat, take one, and then we play Sky Strix, and maybe we just don't send these. And then our attack is, I think, more lethal next turn, maybe? Maybe? Yeah. So because we're lethal with, uh, with any spell on Strix, we just do those two. Yeah, we can copy Strix next turn too, great point. Don't even need the spell. I think that's it. We did it! Check it out! Seven wins beating Nyssa and Liliana. Yeah, we could have copied the tricks this turn, too. Good point. Well, except we didn't... We started our sequencing before we knew, so that's what threw me off. It's, you know, it's hard enough to plan your turn <laughs> when uh, you get new information in the middle of it. But that was pretty cool. We're going to turn this into a Strix. Do I have your attention now? Uh, hold on. We'll do this. I think we're just locked, but we'll we'll do we'll do this. Oh no, they're at three. Wait a second. How do they get to three? What's going on? Math. Do they gain life? Does this gain life? I'm just trying to figure out where, what I missed, but yeah, we'll just send these. Okay, so I'm just uh, prematurely celebrating. Well, if the magic gods want to punish me now for assuming that we had the win when we don't, I wouldn't blame them. Ride the lightning. Ah, that's right. I had a different math in my head on where the uh, life total was going to end up and then change my play. That's right. Thank you for helping me clarify where my brain and reality did not match. Still looking great, question mark? Yeah, I can't even think. It has to be something that gains a lot of life. Because now we even have uh, Dead Tybalt kills them. Dead, dead Rager. In fact, they're letting us have the win here. Plane wide celebrating. That was, uh, that was something else to overcome those two bombs. So it's a bomb-heavy format, but sometimes you beat them. Wow, nice.